Oh, that was a crunch. Yes, Vogue. Strike the pose. No wonder I'm always getting gay zoned. Like, I, I'm making a video about being bisexual but always getting gay zoned. And I start with voguing. <laughs> Explains a lot. Okay, so this is happening. I am sitting in front of my bed. I have candles surrounding me like it's a fucking seance. Um, and I guess we are going to be speaking about getting gay zoned. Um, it was on the list, my cute little uh, YouTube sort of um, diary thing. It was in there because it's something I've really noticed. I did make that video about how I mostly pass as like a queer guy or a gay guy. And I mean, now I'm also living the blonde life. So I'm trying to see if blondes have more fun. I don't know why I'm sitting on my floor. Um, the background's looking quite cute. So I thought I'd sit here. <laughs> Let's get into it. I am like really warm right now, <laughs> but I feel like a gay zone video, I probably shouldn't do half naked or in a cardigan for that matter. Unless you guys want me to keep staying topless in this video. I'm very warm. I'm gonna be shirtless for this video. You guys will just have to deal with it. Um, I am absolutely boiling, so. Glug, glug. <sighs> Not sponsored. <whistles> okay. Okay, so one of the actual, like, initial reasons why I started um, thinking about making this video, thinking about making a video about um, when people perceive you as gay but you're not actually necessarily gay, I mean, obviously I'm definitely queer, let's not lie, <laughs> but when people who um, perceive you as gay that you sort of don't want to be perceived as gay, I got that from originally the issue that was happening with Shawn Mendes, where um, I don't know if you saw, but um, basically people were being like, oh, Shawn Mendes is gay, Shawn Mendes is gay, so so much that they were like conspiracizing about it so much and he was like I'm not if I say I'm not I'm not and then people being like oh you don't have to be ashamed for yourself if you are um, you shouldn't be ashamed it's wrong if you're ashamed he's like I'm, a, I'm straight all right um, to the point where he was getting defensive about it and he was being like I'm not I'm really not and then people were being like oh so you have a problem with it and he's like no I, I just uh, yeah. Like, I, I felt so sorry for him because even though I'm sure most of us, uh, most guys or whatever who know of Shawn Mendes probably wish that he's either gay or bisexual, but if he says he's not, he's not. And so I was just sort of making this video about what it's like to be perceived as gay and a thing called the gay zone, which is where you come across as completely gay to like most girls, so therefore they put you in the gay zone, which means you're sort of in this zone where you're like, oh yeah, that person isn't, that person just likes guys, so I don't have to like, you know, they're not in my, in my zone because yeah. Very bad way of describing it, but we will continue. I think I have actually really been wanting to do, and I may make a video about it, but I've been really wanting to do a sort of boot camp thing of like masculine training because since a lot of people have said this like everyone has said this since my sprite bottle is in the video and so is that <laughs> since i've come out as trans and also since i've gone through my transition like taking testosterone and everything everyone i know has said i have definitely become much more camp and you can probably tell on camera i am I just sound camp. It's it's a mixture of my poshness and also just how a fet I am, like with the hand movements being like, ha ha. Um, that's sort of like all added together to be a, I guess it just all climbs on top of one another and it just makes me seem more gay than what I actually am, which is bisexual or pansexual, whatever you call that. I mean, I do prefer guys, but um, it's like something that I actually really wanted to do a video on, how to sort of make yourself. If you're trying to, I know you shouldn't ever force yourself to be something you're not or whatever, but sometimes, of the occasion, I will find a woman attractive and I'll be like, oh, and then I won't know what to do because I'm 100% of the time basically the most, like very flamboyant dude ever. And then I'll see one and I'll be like, oh, I kind of want to be macho right now and I have no clue what to do. My friends will try and show me what to do and I'll just be like, 
I don't know, man. <laughs> Whenever I do that, I always try and ask my friends, and I think I will make a video on, like, how to be proper macho, how to be this, but it's been something I've genuinely been thinking about doing. So, like, with my voice, I speak a bit fast, quite like, hello, a fet, and I say things like, yeah, slay queen, bitch, and stuff like that, which is probably, you know, if I say that, Yes, understandable someone thinks I'm gay. So whenever someone comes up to me and I find them attractive and they're a girl, I always start going like, yeah, you right? Yeah, what's up? Like, I, I, I go like the most fuck boy person ever. I always like change my voice completely. I'm like, hey, what's up? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. But even that sounds like just that slightly bit feminine, no matter how much I try and be like, what's, what, what's up, babe? <laughs> it doesn't, it just does it just doesn't work. Um, so, even though I'm bisexual, a lot of the time by girls, I get in the gay zone. So it's like the friend zone, but it basically is the friend zone. You just get friend zoned by more girls because they see you as like their GBF. And I'm like, I'm not your gay best friend, occasionally. On the rare occasion, I do like a little bit of the whammons. I think, so we first look at like how I approach things, like how I say things like with my feminine way of speaking and my flamboyancy and then we can just generally look at like how I dress so for looking how I dress and how I act on the online forum <laughs> um, we just need to look at my Instagram and it'll answer most of the questions very quickly <laughs> my hair is a mess a mess wow wow and um, we go to my Instagram and we sort of go on my photos and I don't really look at any photos and think, wow, wow, that's macho. Like, I don't look at any of them and think, hmm, yeah, yeah, that's definitely someone who likes the whammon. And I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't mind seeing as I do prefer guys anyway, but it just gets just, like, if I'm on, if I'm on Tinder, for example, all of my photos I ever take are, like, the most feminine <laughs> shit. Like, the most, like, ooh, this is a gay sort of shit in the universe. Like, look, right. Okay, we've got this photo, which is fine. It's just me being edgy, me looking off to the side, being all, you can be the moon and still be jealous of the stars. I'm such an Instagram thought. And then there's this one, right? Which is me in, I've got these, uh, I've got these trousers on at the moment, actually. Um, but it's me in those trousers being like, I hope testosterone doesn't steal my peach emoji which is cool and all but would a woman really just statistically look at this and be like mm, yeah yeah that really floats my goat i don't and then i see that okay that photo isn't oh that photo isn't too bad that isn't like a hundred percent terrible um but like because you know it's just me in the mirror but i still am where it's being kind of feminine and then we see photos like this um which people love these sort of photos when i put them up these joggers are tight clap clap peach emoji um i do love the joggers i'm wearing right now they are like the best i swear these joggers are like oh hey what's up i hate myself too don't worry about it um <laughs> aliandra has come to join us <laughs> So yay, Aleandra's gonna be part of this now, that's adorable. Right, every day, I swear to God, I get, I will blur out all the names and shit, but I swear to God, I get like so many requests every day being like, okay, this is an example and I will blur his name, but he says, hey bro, I'm sorry for sending you a message, but I have a question I'd appreciate if you let me ask. I was like, hey dude, yeah, sure, he goes, did you get surgery on your bottom? Um, and I think it means bottom surgery or my ass, and I can't tell either one, but still the premise still counts. Um, I was like, I haven't got my surgery. I was like, no, I didn't. He goes, can I see? I was like, I haven't gotten my surgery, mate. He goes, I know, bro. I wanted to see it without surgery anyway. And I'm like, oh, ooh, <laughs> maybe not. I get messages from people just being like, your body is so cool and sexy. Are you gay? <laughs> and I'm like, um, <laughs> Um, and I'm fine getting those messages, it doesn't bother me too much, it's just... I never really get messages being like, oh, you're handsome, from girls, and obviously because I'm a filthy queer. See, that one there isn't that bad, where I'm just like, back to uni, back to normal starts to my day. <laughs> if we look, like, that one there is 
okay, it's yet again just me shirtless, as I always am in my natural state at the moment after surgery. Um, and even this one, like, it's just a few photos of me or whatever. But then we get to ones where I'm just like, I'm literally in like a mesh top or I'm literally wearing makeup and women's clothes. And yes, yeah, who even is she? See that one right there, I've basically got my arse out, like, what even? <laughs> and I'm literally wearing makeup and a pink shirt in that one, but you know. Either way, go check out my Instagram for more of me being a gay sot on Instagram, basically. I mean, that's, that's what you get. You get lots of shirtless me. If that's what you wanna sign up for, please feel free. <laughs> but yeah, I just, I don't want this video to go on too long, um, but I'd really like to know, like, your guys' issues with it. If you, do you get gay zoned? Um, like, it's sort of this weird, place in which you can it's like a friend zone but also you know you're there because you're extra camp and also any tips on how to be that bit because i'm gonna make a video about it with one of my straight friends where oh it's gonna be fucking hilarious i'm gonna get some of my straight lad friends and some of my straight friends who are girls and they're going to do oh that's gonna be funny and they should do a boot camp on how to act super macho straight. I'm gonna find some people who want to do that video with me and we are going to macho me up and get me a date with a girl, even though that isn't exactly. I mean, I do prefer cute guys, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Let me also know what you think about the Shawn Mendes issue of everything that happened because people are harassing him and they should stop. And there's probably something I'm missing. There's always something I'm missing. A shirt, <laughs> I think. Is something I'm missing but other than that there's always something else I end up missing out of a video and I will have to probably add it in. So what I kind of do want to add quickly is um I, I just sort of want to say obviously in this video I am not trying to say that um being like overly camp or just m the fact that I am sort of like um very obviously queer is a bad thing because I think everyone should own who they are, how they display themselves, how they act and everything like that. However, I think it is also a big part of it that you have to think about the statistics of it. Statistically, um, so some people do like feminine guys, like really feminine guys. There are some women that I do know that, well, hardly any, that I do know that like really feminine guys, guys who come across as camp, but it is very rare. So even though, obviously, I'm, I'm happy to with who I am, I know I'm a camp guy or whatever, but occasionally I would, I, I do want to, you know, know how to act when I want to, because I prefer to be the more macho guy when I'm, when I'm with girls I prefer to be more macho, and when I'm with guys I prefer to be the more feminine one, um, and it's just, you know, I, I've sort of, um, I've just gotten into the role of being more used to and found it easier to be in the role of a camp gay guy because when someone picks you up on like, it's actually easier for them to say, oh, the reason why that person has very feminine features is cause just they're a gay guy, they're a twink, rather than, oh, they're, they're a trans man. So they'll out you, it's easier for someone to out you as a gay person than to out you as a trans person. So that really, me being camp has actually for a while helped me pass because <laughs> they're like, oh, that's just a very feminine gay guy. Um, and yeah, so that's just why it'd be nice occasionally to be able to, um, you know, to be able to be able to just come across as that a bit masculine, a bit more masculine or a bit more neutral because uh, I got into this role of, you know, being that extra camp person occasionally. Got to get the, got to charm the ladies. <laughs> Anyway, be yourself. I don't know what this little intro, this little cut in is, but I'm, um, yeah. Okay. All right. Back to the outro. Sorry, Alejandro. You just got a face for the crotch. Okay, well, for the outro, I got myself my flag and um, I look like a very, very... I don't know what I look like. Thank you guys for watching. There's probably more I wanted to add to this video, but um, I will add in future videos, and I'm definitely going to do that video with the gay sort of like butching up me boot camp. That's going to be fucking great. But I want to say thank you guys for watching. Please go follow my Instagram if you want to see more of me being a sot and me being a queer. I, I, I love making these sort of videos where I can just chat to you about my experience, so please subscribe. 
plenty more videos on the way, update videos on my transition, everything like that. I just want to say thanks to all the new people, subscribe. Yeah, that's all I really have to say. <laughs> all right, bye bye. Ooh, ooh, I like this. I like this angle. Ooh. <laughs>